Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see an Imperial Guard kill team. Uh, it's a really cool commission that we've had in from one of our clients. Something a little bit different um, you, you, that we've had in a studio. We get a lot of armies and characters and small forces and things like that. But it's nice to get in a kill team that's got a whole variation of models and something totally different from them, what you'd normally see in any, any one of our videos, which is really nice. Um, so without further ado, let's dive on in and let's have a look at the models. A uh, little bit of background is that this this commission is, uh, they're supposed to be like ragtag in the sense that they're all made up of different units within the same force, if that makes sense. So uh, everyone has got the same keeping colour palette, so we've used the same sort of uh, colours for sort of the generalist kind of things, but each one has little details to really make each individual model or squad stand out. Uh, so that's a little bit about this force. Uh, so we'll start from left to right, we'll go with the medic first of all, so we'll pull him forward and get that to focus. Uh, really nice model, it's got great poses as well with the damaged arm as well with a little bit of blood work on there just to make that kind of stand out you've got the green casings which is a thing that we've tried to do through this portion of the force as you'll see on the next couple of models and you've got loads of sort of gubbins and bits spade grenade you've got some uh, goggle um, some binoculars there as well as you can see all the arm panels are sort of weathered and chipped and got little sort of scratch marks on them just to really make them look like they've been fighting for a long time and uh, you've got khaki overalls we've integrated the model to the base with a little bit of weathering powder onto the basing as well which is nice and um, overall really nice model the lenses have all been picked out on the goggles as you can see multiple highlighting and sheen so they really stand out and they really kind of show a refraction of light which is what you'd expect to see on sort of like the, those goggles and lenses on sort of models within sort of commissions we complete um so that's him uh we'll pull forward the flamer dude which is kind of cool really like the fact he's got a wounded arm with some blood effects as well just to really give, make him look like they as I said that they've been battling through things uh green sort of character sort of color effects on all the weapon casings just to really make them sort of distinguish and stand those out you got a lot of weathering effects there as you can see on the face as well uh, all the skin tones been picked out as you can see there multiple highlighting the eyes have all been picked out really sort of gritty uh, sort of facial expression as well looks like he's about to flame someone to hell and uh, that's him which is nice and he's got a little bit of camouflage on sort of different areas of the models as well which is nice um, you've got to obviously the webbing effects as well on all of the sort of like uh, the cloth parts of the model as well which is nice so that's him uh, pull forward the missile launcher dude uh, he has got a nasty scar on his face, so he's really been in the thick of it. Uh, green missile launcher, which could either be obviously in keeping with the colour scheme or that he's scavenged from a different unit or found it uh, as a replacement, which is something that could be fluff wise. Uh, you've got a lot of different sort of effects on that, all chipping all over the different casing of the gun and, and the blast shield on the front of it, as you can see there. The uh, missile's got some scratch work effects on it, as you can see, uh, and all the different areas of sort of chipping on the, on the metal work as well throughout. And uh, a little bit of blood has dripped down onto the front of his armour, as you can see there as well, which is quite nice just to give it a little bit of a fluff and story to him so that's a missile launcher guy uh, pull forward one of my favorite imperial guard ranges so you've got uh, an elysian drop troop here from forge world uh, to make him stand out make him look a little bit different we've uh, camouflaged the casing on the gun different to that side of the force uh, make him look a bit more like a commando special forces kind of uh, kind of guy or like a sort of recon sort of guy um, given obviously the posing and what he's doing in, on, in his pose um, you've got chipping effects on all the armor, armor as you can see there again uh, really cool sort of uh, backpack sort of harness thing that he's got obviously for his grav shoot and you've got uh, some really nice sort of webbing effects there on the uh, on the sort of inner armour as well and in the uh, sort of cutting that he's got there as well which is nice and again same integration with the weathering powder to the base is just to really make it look like they've actually been fighting in the thick of it and it's a kind of dusty environment which is nice and again with his visor he's got multiple levels of highlighting with brightest point highlighting as well just to really pick out those sort of curves on that visor and the sort of like more sort of square kind of look to his sort of glass on his visor which is nice and uh, so that's him uh, we'll jump to the right hand side of this commission for you to have a look at the stormtroopers before we look at the ogren and the rattling and um, pull forward some of these so you can have a look now obviously with this unit we've done something a little bit different and um, they've got more of a camouflage scheme on their sort of trousers and uh, overalls and things like that uh, same sort of damage effects on the armor panels just really chip those again loads and loads of details on these new stormtroopers they're a really nice kit from gw and um, you've got all the sort of highlighting aspects on all the cream of all the sort of like more khaki colored casing on the guns just to make them a little bit different and uh, all the screens and sort of lenses have all been picked out and highlighted multiple times with point of light sources you can see there which is nice he's got a bit of a, a bit another injury so he's got an, like a, an eye patch on him as well as you can see the eyes have been picked out and we've even done some some sort of like face paint sort of camouflage as well on this unit as well uh, which we'll see on another one of the models shortly uh, so that's one of the guys from the stormtrooper unit pull forward with the medic uh, 
as you can see there, all of the uh, lenses have all been picked out, all the surgeon aspects of him has been picked out. Nice red case, contrasting colour just to differentiate that from the rest of the model. Um, really nice sort of camouflage pattern on all the leg, all the sort of trousers, uh, and also on all the areas of the uh, non-armour panels. As you can see, you've got br brass effects kind of as well, on um, like a bronzy sort of brownie brass effect on the edge trimmings of the armour as well, which is something a little bit different. Really nice contrasting colour to the sort of uh, creamy sort of colour of the armour panels and things like that, and casings on these Stormtroopers. So that's the medic. Uh, pull forward the other two rifle guys. So for them, same again, same sort of colour scheme, all picked out. As you can see, the camouflage pattern throughout the model, uh, all the same chipping effects on the different aspects of casings and armour panels. Uh, green lenses, really nice contrast colour to as well to me give it like a triad of different colours on this uh, on these models in this commission. And then pull forward the other guy with the gun before we look at the sergeant. And uh, him, again, same consistency of work and level and all the highlighting, all the metal work, all the details have been picked out. Uh, narrow areas have been missed on this on these models at all, as you can see. And uh, then pull forward my favourite from this unit, which is the sergeant. Uh, kind of special because he's got the plasma gun. Uh, as you can see with the face, we've done loads of camouflage works uh, on his face to really give him that sort of authority of command pose that you'd expect from the sergeant of any force. Uh, really nice plasma gun as well, uh, with contrasting sort of brown Brown strap, uh, keeping sort of like the colour sort of hues on this commission, all very very warm and nice, which is good. And uh, again, camouflage on all the trousers, and his uh, his hell gun is all wrapped up there, a nice webbing that we've done multiple highlighting on all the areas, obviously as you can see on that part of the commission. Uh, so that's the sergeant. So moving on to the two sort of individual models on this commission, you've got a rattling as you can see, and you've also got uh, an ogre. So we'll pull the rattling forward first of all. Really like rattling, it's really good background to these. Um, as you can see, we've done the sort of different colour hair to him. He's got ginger hair, and then you've got. Um, um, you've got sort of like there's a nice contrasting colour to the rest of the commission so it kind of stands out and uh, you've got all the webbing effects and uh, all the different areas of highlighting on the overalls and so on and so forth and uh, his rifle obviously got black casing on him so a little bit different for this model in the force which is nice uh, that's him and then pull forward my, one of my favourite models in this commission which is the Ogryn He's got some really cool tank treads as an armor panel, which is what I've always liked on this kit. Uh, so we've weathered and chipped all of the uh, the casing that he's got. Uh, his knife, as you can see, got multiple highlighting all the metal work and bronze work on this model. Uh, again, black casing on his gigantic gun that he's got, and uh, that's really to keep him in keeping with the rattling. So that, that that's what makes them stand out, as if they come from the same part of their overall force. Uh, and you've got lots of chipping and weathering on all the guards on the boots. Uh, all the sort of armor panels have got scratch work, chip work as well to really give them look that sort of. Uh, uh, really ragtag front line kind of feel. Uh, really nice colour highlighting on all the skin tone and the, sort of all the teeth picked out, the eyes, and multiple highlighting on the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, ears, to really give that definition and contrast on the face of this guy and emphasise that overall face that you, you can see on the model. Um, so as you can see, that's the that's the Ogryn from the Force and overall a really striking, really nice commission. Uh, something totally different to put on the tabletop. Kill Team's really cool. If you've not played Kill Team, you should definitely give it a go. It's a great little game, and uh, I hope you like the commission, guys. If you're interested in, in taking out a project with us and getting a commission completed by us, please feel free to go in the description of this video and look at all the, the links that we've got there. We've got our website, which takes you to the contact form, which you need to fill in. Uh, or you can go and have a look at some of our work on any of our social media, be it Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. As always, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. We really appreciate it, guys. I hope you like this commission. It's been great to work on. Ben's had a good time working on it. And uh, I hope to see you guys on the next one. So thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.